Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look. Rest in 101, class is in session Pay attention to the teachings, that's from Andrew and Derek I mean these guys making the killer with no competition Dynamic duo better than the Hardy Boys and the Dudley Boys Everybody make some noise, mess with them, you get destroyed They cannot be beat, take a seat, watch them do they thing on the MIC Face defeat, they cannot be seen like JC Oh my goodness, it's in killing spree, yeah? Radio and promotions, and you're listening to Wrestling IQ 101. Keep it right there. Hey everyone, this is Andrew from Wrestling IQ 101. When I'm not hosting our podcast, I'm usually at collarandelbowbrand.com. That's right, Collar and Elbow is the only place that combines wrestling with street attire. And I know what you're thinking. I want to look fashionable too, and I also want to save 10%. So head over to collarandelbowbrand.com and use the promo code WIQ101. And look fashionable and save some money. And now, on with the show. Hey everyone, welcome back to Wrestling IQ 101. I'm Andrew, and you can listen to Wrestling IQ 101 on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Wrestling IQ 101. And today I'm at H2O. Let's go talk to some of the stars, shall we? Hey guys, I'm standing here with Scott Cerini, man. How's it going? It's going good, man. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Yeah, man. I mean, you've been doing so, so many shows, man. How does it feel to be, you know... Living that dream. Uh, it's it's surreal for sure because it was a spot I never really saw myself in. I started on commentary, and uh, I thought that's kind of where I was just going to coast and you know get my couple bookings a month. And then I started ring announcing uh, as a favor to somebody, and it just kind of snowballed from there. Sure. Got crazy. So now you know we're here at um, H two O. H two O, man, this is crazy. This beautiful building. I love this building. This is my this is one of my favorite venues, like ever, ever, ever to work in. This is Ed and the lock rooms all stress free, and it's just I try to get down here as often as I can when like work allows and real life allows. Yeah, sure. Come down, hang out with everybody. So now that we're here at H two O, what are some of the matches you're looking forward to today? I'm really excited about that tag team championship match, Notorious Inc. versus uh, Jimmy Lyon and Mark Angel. I'm very excited about Steve Mack and Maria Manic, and any match Slack is in is a, is a must see for me, a hundred percent. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, it's been a while since I've seen him in the ring, but man, when he was in there. Oh, he'll go crazy. He's, he's a monster. <laughs> he'll go crazy. I'm, I'm excited. I'm yeah. Here, keep an eye on a couple people. Maybe make some reports back home, and we'll see what happens from there. Awesome, man. And Scott, where can people get you on social media if they want to You can hit me up on Twitter or Instagram, at SC Sariti, S-A-R-I-T. Thanks, man, for taking us the time. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm standing here with Sock Age Man. How's it going, man? What's going on, brother? How are you? Good, man. You know, you and Matt Tremont, story, history. Uh, you know, tonight, you, you know, you're in one of his shows. And how's it feel to be part of H2O? I've been part of H2O since the very first show, man. I love H2O. This is, to me, this is the best indie company on the East Coast. Hopefully, soon in the country. Um, you got a talented group of guys and girls in there, man. It's, it's like, I guess. And I was trained by Mikey Whipper, and he always told me that like, ECW was like it was like a war. Like guys went to war. Like you know, it was all for one, one for all, and that's kind of the mentality here. Yeah, I mean, and you're going in there with Mitch, man. You yes. know, he he's a start, you know, startup guy too. I mean, you know, he wants to, that claim and that victory. So how do you think you're gonna fare up against him? Mitch's gonna get an ass beat today. He's gonna learn a lesson. Yeah, so it's gonna happen tonight. So I think it's uh, Deathmatch Trial Series three. He hasn't won any of them, and he's not going to win tonight, bottom line. Yeah, you know, when you go into these type of matches, I mean, you know, how do you prepare for these? I like Rob. Oh, man, I got to ask that, you know, I can ask that question a lot. Um, I really don't know how to answer it, because I really don't think about it. I just do it. Just like You just kind of go out there, grit your teeth, and do it. I mean, the shit sucks, it hurts, you're going to get cut up, you're going to get bloody, but I just, I don't try to think about it, just go and let the adrenaline kick in. You know, if you think about it, I find when you think about, you know, what you're going to do, or what's going to happen, then usually you get hurt. What some people don't know is that you have like a good wrestling background and you wrestled at WOW and stuff like that I do have a good wrestling background (laughs) you know does that help you you know transition between you know deathmatch wrestling um I mean you know unfortunately a lot of us like I mean there's a lot of guys in that locker room right now that are held wrestling you got G Raver Matt can go um, Devin Moore Drew Blood I mean there's a bunch of guys in there that can go out there and wrestle some of the probably better than most of the guys that people are like oh this guy's the best wrestler um you know we get saddled as deathmatch wrestlers 
But um, I don't, you know, I don't like to be called a deathmatch wrestler. I think a lot of us, you know, no one does. I don't, not that I don't like it, but I think the moniker like hybrid wrestler would be better. Like Masada gets called that a lot. Sure. If you ever heard Masada, he can wrestle, he can do lucha, he can do everything. And a lot of us in there, like I said, can do everything. We just, you know, this is what we like to do. You know, if I had my choice, if somebody said, you know, I would love to do a deathmatch with any one of these guys. And where can people get you on social media? Uh, social media, uh, Stockade SDMF on Twitter and Instagram, and then Facebook is Joe Stockade. And lo- I think my f- Facebook right now is full though. Mm-hmm. And people always like you know all like the fake profiles drop out. So you know you can get me, follow me. Awesome man, thanks for taking the time. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. You guys, I'm standing here with Jeff Cannonball at H2O. Man, this place is like home for you, right? This, yeah, this 100. Um, percent Over the past couple of years, has one definitely become my home company. Uh, two-time champion here. Been on, I think, every single show, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, man. definitely my home. Yeah, tonight, a challenge for you, two matches. I mean, yeah. Uh, how do you think you're going to fare in both of them? I think I kind of did that to myself. Uh, you know, I was the first guy to wrestle a lot. I was the guy who wrestled a lot of people in their first match at H2O. Mm-hmm. So, it's almost become, me and Matt were talking about, like, kind of, uh, I've become the gatekeeper of H2O. So, now we got Raven Havoc coming in here from North Carolina. Um, so, he's got to get through me pretty much to be in H2O. And then Drew Chaos is... He's a young dude. Uh, he always kills us, so like, let's give him another test. So it's, it's me and him now, too. Yeah, man. I mean, this this place, you know, we, you alluded to earlier, like a second home to you. 100%. Um, who are some of the guys that, you know, that haven't, you know, got an opportunity here that have to go through you that you would want to face? Uh, I would say both the extricated guys, Aiden Ball, uh, Bam Sullivan, I've actually already beaten him. So I'll say Mouse as well. Uh, he's another one as we drop things on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Let's see who else is who else is not around. You know, I'd like to do Kyle the Beast here. He's okay. got he's been here once in a while, but you know, I, I I would like to get another shot at him. It's been a while since I've wrestled him, so yeah, man. You know, I, I hope that tonight is your night. You go two for two. I two mean, for two, and then we'll see uh, what happens. Yeah, man. So if you win tonight, I mean, what what are some of the challenges that lie ahead for you? I mean, the show after this is uh, uh, Hardcore Kingdom. Mm-hmm. I'm not officially in it yet, but uh, you know, figure if I show off enough in this one. We'll see what happens, and maybe I can get my spot there and go two for two there and walk home with a trophy. Yeah, that'd be sick, man. You know, always good for the mantle. I so, uh, how's everything else been for you? Uh, how's the show? The, what's the show? Yeah, the, the um, flaming table. table. Yeah, uh, a bit of a hiatus. I've gotten lazy. Oh, uh, I've gotten lazy. I just moved. Uh, you are the third person to ask me about it today, and I get asked about it probably at least twice a week now. Okay. So. It's inevitable to return, but it might be another couple of weeks first. Oh, that man. chill a little bit. There's a. I look forward to that. I know? appreciate it. Yeah, <laughs> a few people actually. Like, honestly, I'll be honest. Like, I stopped because in my head I was like beating myself. I was like, nobody's watching this. I'm just doing this for myself. And then so many people. Like, yeah. I actually had a guy. Uh, and I don't want to put too much out there about him. He's not from Jersey. Who uh, he told me like he was getting off heroin and that like flaming table and like all the comedy he found that like helped him a lot and that was yeah. like yeah that blew my mind like that was like hearing that kind of like made me be like well now I have to do this again because actually <laughs> like not only were people watching but it meant something to somebody which like th- that was yeah. like I was speechless kind of like how I'm stumbling over words yeah, right yeah. now you know when you were trying different sodas even playing different games yeah, 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 just yeah. different cool things that you guys were doing I just uh, feel like towards the end I kind of got cheap I copped out a little bit and I was like uh, you know this isn't what I want to do like so I got I got to Regroup and come regroup, regroup, <laughs> regroup. I got one of those words one day, okay. and then uh, and then come back, you know, and really do it the right way, the way it should have been done, yeah. the way it was at the beginning. Yeah, man. Well, I definitely wish you tons of luck tonight. Um, where can it. people get you on social media? Uh, everything is at Jeff Cannonball. Instagram is my favorite one. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got Twitter. I use it once in a while, very rarely, and then Facebook. Uh, my real name Jeff Guerrero because Facebook made me change it back. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's about it. And then there's the Flaming Table on Twitter and Instagram. And whenever it does come back, that'll be the first place to hear about it. Awesome, man. Good luck tonight. Thank you. I appreciate hey guys, it. Guys, I'm standing here with G. Graver, man. How's it going today? Good, man. Good, man. You know, I'm glad that you're finally able to talk to you, man. We're here at H2O. I mean, you know, big match tonight, right? Yeah, for sure. Me and Ron Mathis, this is the first time we've ever faced each other. So, like, it's just cool to see, you know, different people and, you know, getting to wrestle different people and seeing how that turns out and see if you, you know, make a connection. Yeah, you know, this is my first time here at H2O, and I'm, I'm excited to be here. Um, for me and for the fans, I mean, I've seen you before at, at GCW and stuff like that, but what can fans expect from you? Uh, <laughs> probably uh, a lot of self-harm and <laughs> a lot of self-harm to others, but mostly I'd say, you know, sick, twisted, demented things that I can pull out of my head, that I can make some sort of reality uh, for your viewing pleasure. 
that's that's what I'm aiming for. Yeah, I know you have had many opportunities here at oh, H2O. Yeah. Um, are you looking to get that title, you know, in the future? Oh, I'm sure everybody's looking, you know, grab a title. Of course, they want to get that opportunity to, you know, showcase themselves in a different way and putting yourself in that position to win a, you know, world championship, that sort of thing is definitely, uh, I think, on everybody's, you know, list of things to do, especially just to see if you can, you know, maintain that and continue doing that in that level. Sure, man. And, you know, that's awesome that you're part of H2O. This is a growing brand for sure. For sure. Uh, where can people get you on social media if they want to connect with you? Uh, on Facebook, I'm pretty open about it. You can find me at Brandon Graver. You can find me on Facebook. Uh, WTWB Graver on Instagram. And then uh, uh, Stay Sick Graver on uh, Twitter. You can find me there. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Well, thanks so much for taking out the time, man. Yeah. And, uh, good luck tonight. No, appreciate it, man. I'm looking forward to it. Stay sick, guys. <laughs> you guys, I'm standing here with Lucky 13, man. How's it going? Uh, I guess it's all right. I'm back to wrestling, so things are going well. Yeah, man, I can't believe it. You know, my first time H2, I get to see you in person, man. Like, I'm, I'm really excited for this, man. What can fans expect here tonight? A lot of craziness. I mean, this is an all deathmatch show. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, if you're not used to the deathmatch scene or whatever, this is going to be something that you're not used to seeing. So a lot of people might be in for a few surprises. And, uh, you know, might be a little squeamish, but, uh, you know, hopefully they have fun. And that's what's most important is people are entertained and they have fun. Yeah, you know, you feel like this is the environment that you thrive in because they can put you in anything, right? And you'd be okay. Um, I do because I'm not a good wrestler. Uh-huh. And with, <laughs> with, I'm, not, I'm not good at wrestling. And so with the deathmatch stuff, you can kind of use your environment to, like, your advantage. And it kind of hides uh, a lot of your inadequacies, I guess you could say. Okay. So I like that. I don't, I don't have to actually wrestle as much. Yeah, you know, you've had some classic matches with Matt Tremont and stuff like that. Um, you know, how, how do you... You know, how do you prepare for like a match like this and guy like Matt Tremont? You know, this guy who's, you know, an icon of this sport. Honestly, um, I mean, I'm 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 always like way more nervous than probably anybody else ever is like going into these matches, like because yeah. like like you said, Matt's like a an icon and like Alex is killing it all over who I'm wrestling tonight mm-hmm. and. Uh, I, and I'm just coming back off a long layover, so for me, uh, like I'm expected to like keep up with these guys, sure. and uh, it, so it's very nerve wracking for me to go out there and to be able to perform at their level and like give the fans a show that you know I hope they're happy with and everything. So I'm always just super nervous coming into these things, just hoping that you know I give the fans something that they could be happy with. You no, know, I was doing my research. I was watching a match between you, Joey Janela, Mike Dell, and Matt McIntosh at Sanctuary. Oh, at John's <laughs> place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, awesome. To see all you guys, you know, succeeding and stuff like that, and still, you know, still performing at the highest level, I and mean, that must be a good feeling. You know, look back at those memories and just knowing that, you know, you can still go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, John's got a good thing going up there at the Sanctuary. I know, well, it's almost late in the month now, but he's doing like free training up there too for anybody that wants to get in and try to, you know, have a hand in professional wrestling. But he was also one of the original guys that like got me into. Um, started training me before I went to Chikara and got trained full time by like Captain Bush and Hero and Claudio and Cesare, whatever he's now now. And uh, so like I still feel you know um, an alliance to John. So whenever John asks me like, hey, can you come back and like do a show for me? Like I'm absolutely, dude. Sure. Like, yeah, I'll always go up there. That's awesome. Man. Where can people get you on social media if they want to connect? Um, my Facebook, I don't know what the link is, but it's under my real name, so you'd have to Wikipedia me for that. Uh, okay. But on uh, Twitter, it's at Neo Shooter, and on uh, Instagram, it's at Bigwig NJ, which was my favorite band growing up. So I don't go with the whole don't have my wrestling gimmick. It's more of like a blend of like my real life and stuff like that. Yeah, that's different, man. That's awesome. Man. Yeah. It's so good to hear, man. I'm glad that you're competing tonight. And good luck. Thank you. Hey, guys. I'm sitting here with Ron Mathis, man. How's it going? Pretty good, man. How are you? Good. You know, tonight, a big matchup, you know, you and G Graver, you know. Uh, how do you prepare for a guy like that? Um, well, it's actually my first time ever wrestling G Raver, so uh, usually, you know, I'd already have some ideas what I thought I was going to do out there, but it's kind of a, a new thing when you wrestle someone new, which which is fun, so I'm looking forward to it a lot. Yeah. You were just shooting with Alex Cologne, right? I mean, how was it getting your hands on him and knowing, you know, this is getting personal? 
Well, Alex is uh, he's one of the most intense wrestlers that I've ever freaking met. Like, he only has one speed out there, so it's, a lot of times it's a matter of just trying to keep up, which I'm pretty proud of what we did, and I think we uh, I did a pretty good job. I think it was good and intense and something the crowd could sink their teeth into. Yeah, I mean, you know, this kind of kind of personal and notorious ink got involved and stuff like that. I mean, you know, does it make you feel better, you know, knowing that, you know, you were finally able to, to, to maybe sell some other scores and maybe start some different feuds? Yeah, it definitely did, because uh, the, the bit I've been out here in Jersey, I don't think I ever really got a chance to show people what I could really do, but I think having a long a long angle, a long feud with a lot of heat behind it, I was able to actually show what I'm capable of, so it was, it was all really fulfilling for me. I enjoyed it a lot. You know, being up here in New Jersey, you know, are there any other companies you're looking to go to? Um, I mean, if they got a hold of me, I would, but as of now, I'm perfectly fine being ex- exclusive to H2O, because it's, I really love it here. I'm I like what they're doing, so I like that. I kind of do like the fact that if you want to see me here, you gotta come here. Like, there's no other option. But like I said, I'm not completely close the idea of somewhere else. But for now, I, I'm okay with that. Yeah, you know, everyone here is chasing that H2O title. You know, is that something that one day you'd like to have an opportunity to get? Well, I had it for uh, six months, I think. So uh, yeah, it's always it's always rough going from being on top of the card to getting pushed back down. So I'm definitely going to be chasing and getting back up there and getting that's, the belt back. That's cool that you have this fighting mentality to to be up there once again. I mean, you know, sometimes you got to struggle, right? Yeah, yeah. If it was all easy, everyone would be a pro wrestler. If it was just, uh, you know, puppy dogs and sunshine. Where can people get you on social media if they want to connect? Um, Ron Mathis13 on Twitter. Uh, I don't have Instagram. And on Facebook, search for Ron Mathis. I'll be the one that looks like a wrestler. <laughs> okay, man. Thanks for taking up the time. Thank you. We're all standing here with Mark Angel and Jimmy Lyon, man. How's it going, guys? Just an audio thing. Yeah. Just oh, audio. Yeah. So I can take my pants off. <laughs> uh, I guess you could. Yeah, he's a little weird. Don't mind me. <laughs> it's going, man. I mean, we just got our. I mean, we'll just get our asses kicked by uh, Drew Blood and Devon Moore. He really did take his pants it, it, yeah, off. Dear Lord. All right. All right. Cool, man. Right, so how's it going, man? <laughs> I'm doing good. You know, big tag team match for you guys here tonight against Notorious Inc. I mean, these guys are, are legends here yeah. in, in, in this scene. Uh, how was it to get your hands on those guys? I was very breezy right now. <laughs> I'm, I am sure. It was a long time coming, man. Uh, those guys are really, really good. And uh, At first, I'd like to thank Jesus, the Lord up above, who makes everything possible. Uh, he, uh, he's, he's guided me several times in my life. Um, Mark? Drew and Devin. Drew and Devin. Back and oh, yeah, yeah. What it was like to wrestle them. That was amazing, man. Those guys are really, really talented, really good. And it was a test for us. And, uh, man. It definitely was a test for us. They got lucky. Yeah, they got lucky, though. Uh, you know, well, they're an experienced tag team. You know, you guys, uh, who are you guys looking to face in the future if you guys continue attacking, you know? If we continue attacking? If we continue attacking? I don't think we are. I think we're done after this. Yeah, maybe not. But anybody, anybody, man, we're willing to take on anybody. All newcomers, anybody. We've been here a long time at H2O, and... Uh, We'll take on anybody. It's the first time we tagged in there. Yeah, yeah, H2O, yeah. Yeah, you guys is that you tagged in other places and stuff like that. You know, yeah, do you brawl feel... tag team titles, man. <laughs> yeah, we're brawl tag team champions. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, if you guys continue to tag, um, you know, how is it how, tra- transitioning from being a singles wrestler to finding that gel, you know, that you guys have? Oh, it's easy because I, I only have to do half the work and Mark does all the heavy lifting. So. Yeah, he gets he usually gets me in a lot of trouble. He runs his mouth and then usually gets me beat for it. No, 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 for real. This is what we'll do. We'll drive to a show together, and I'll complain about something the entire way, get Mark all fired up. Uh-huh. And then Mark, when, when we get to the building, Mark will be like, oh, man, 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 let, we got to talk to you about something. I'll be like, I don't, I don't know what the problem is. And I just throw Mark <laughs> under the bus. That happens every single time. Every it's single time. Funny. Without fail, he gets me fired up, and then yeah, usually gets me in trouble. Yeah. You know, guys, you guys have had great singles matches on your own. Do you have a pinpoint that has uh, that been your favorite? Yeah, uh, Madman Pondo hit me with my car one time. Your car? I was pile driven on top of that car by Matt Tremont. It was a different car. <laughs> um, no, it was the van. Oh, yeah. yeah. It was the van. Yeah. He's been hitting the head a lot. You got to forgive him. He forgets. It's okay. You know, uh, guys, in closing, where can people get you on social media if they want to connect? I just have a Facebook. I don't believe in Twitter. I believe Twitter goes against uh, my, my religious beliefs. Sure. Uh, actually, I, I've just made that up. I, I don't know. Where in the Bible says do not use social media. Uh, <laughs> it says my, that? Uh, probably. Uh, uh, my, uh, it's not in the Torah. <laughs> I have an Instagram, Chondo Art, which uh, you should buy my art. I have uh, uh, a Facebook page, 
Lion Art, which you should buy my art. And I have a regular Facebook page, uh, Jimmy Chondo Lion, which you should buy my art. Okay, uh, my <laughs> social media is all Mark Angel 24 Awesome, guys. And, uh, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Well, guys, best of luck, and thank you for thank thinking you, at man. the time. That was fun. Thank <laughs> you, really appreciate it. Glad well, the pants are off. Um, <laughs> he really did. Hey, Mitch Fallon, man. How's it going? I'm doing good, man. How you doing? Good. You know, big match tonight. You know, are you ready? Yeah, I've been looking forward to this for the whole month now. Um, always try to do my very best every time I come to H2O. You know, I always demand a lot of myself every time I come down here. I just want to be able to get that victory today. Sure, man. That's understandable. You know, I was watching some of your matches before. You know, you competed in WoW against MJF. I mean, some crazy matches that people might not have been able to... Yeah, dream of, right? <laughs> that match was early on in my career. Mm -hmm. um, to see some of the people that I've actually worked before where they are now, it was, it was really kind of it's kind of crazy when you really think about it and think yeah. I've actually wrestled them before, you know. However, just all I've really been thinking about is ever since I've been doing this, just keep working my working my butt off, just trying to make sure I keep up with them, you know? Yeah, it's awesome because you're getting your shots in other places too, and this is one of them at H2O to really prove yourself, right? That's what it's about. Pretty much, I just want to prove myself to the fans, to the guys in the locker room, to the promoters everywhere, that I, I know inside of myself I have what it takes. Now it's just all a matter of putting it all together, showing what I got in that ring, mm -hmm. and just simply seeing if they like what they see. Yeah, you know, let me ask you this, man. You know, you've had so many great opponents. What's been like your favorite one? Probably my favorite one was Connor Claxton, CZW's Better Than Our Best this past October, where he was beating me up for like a good few months, and then I finally got my chance to get my revenge on him, and that was so much animosity, so much energy going into that match where I knew I had to prove myself, I didn't have any victories in CZW at the time, and just to be able to finally get that one vic, that big victory that I was looking for, and just to you know let people know, hey, I can, you know, I can hang, and just, all in all, that match was just probably definitely my biggest one and my personal favorite to this day. Yeah. Uh, where can people be on social media, Mitch? You can find me on Twitter at Mitch Valen, capital M for Mitch, capital V for Valen, and on Instagram at Mitch Valen, all lowercase. Thanks, man, for taking out the time. Good luck tonight. Thank you. I appreciate it. Standing here with Notorious Inc., you know, Devin Moore, Drew Blood. Man, how's it going tonight? Doing good now. Just got done whooping on Chanda. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man, that kid was fun. A good night. Yeah, you guys are one of the most notorious tag teams, no pun intended, in CCW and right here in G and, uh, H2O. You know, how do you guys how do you guys feel, you know, that tag team has come along over the years? Uh, it's a lot different from when we, uh, our, 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 when we first started, now bringing our first uh, first decade in this business. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, tag team wrestling is, uh, I, I, still, I believe it's a lost start. Uh, uh, these days you don't see many tag teams anymore. Honestly, if you think about it, you look at all the people who are coming into business now, all these, the fuck these, is uh, this? these upstart uh, young guys that got all this talent, they get just natural mm -hmm. talent, but you don't see many collaborating as tag teams. It's all guys, you know, single wrestlers. So uh, hopefully... You know, tag team wrestle won't die. As a, as it's a not whole. good. Though. Well, you know what I mean, but you know, what I mean, it's just lost. Right? It's, you know, tag team wrestle is like my, my favorite type of wrestle. You know, it's it's, it's fun. It's always something going on. Yeah. It's action packed. It, it'll come back. It's slowly coming back. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. There's so many good teams out I'm there. Bringing that shit back. <laughs> <laughs> who, who are some of the teams that you want to face, even if they're mismatch teams? You know. Is there anybody in particular? Squad number one. Hit squad. Probably. Always wanted to work the hit squad. Yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Briscoes, I want to do a tango with the Briscoes again. Mm. Um, was the, I still want our tag match with, with the original Blackout, G's and, and Claude. Oh, wow, yeah, G's, that'd be great. We've I mean. done it, though. Like, no, I mean, we didn't do it in the right places. I know, but I'm trying to think of, like, like <laughs> which ones we have it, that, like... So many damn people we wrestle over here. It's crazy. Um, <laughs> Trying to think of teams. I was thinking like set this Homicide Christmas Boogaloo Street back in the day. Yeah, Christmas yeah. Street Connect. A lot of old teams when we started, though, which were around the day that would have been fun. Yeah, uh, FBI. Oh, yeah, FBI? Guido and uh, Smothers. Mama Luke and Smothers. I, yeah, no, no, I, I had, both, actually. Mama Luke, too, as well. Yeah, I had Just a if you want to get some work in. <laughs> That's awesome, guys. You know, now that you guys here in, are in H2O, you know, what are the goals, you know? Well, uh, we we already got uh, the main goal accomplished. We're, we're, we're the new tag team champions. 
Successful defense. Uh, we're simple, man. This, this part's on the rise. We're just hoping Maddie, you know, make his dream come true. This is Maddie's vision. And we're just along the... Yeah, the, re- the reality go. of it is we, 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 we've, no been, we've, been, we've been, uh, been in this business a uh, fair amount of time, so... Uh, what our what our goal here is to make sure that uh, H2O is a respectful place, respected by the wrestlers and by the fans. Because uh, you know, me and Dev, I mean, the truth be told, it's like you know, our, our, we're on the tail end of our careers, you know. So uh, you know, to, to wrestle these younger guys and, and pass on the knowledge of uh, the art of tag team wrestling that me and him possess, you know, like you know, it, 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 that's just paying it forward to this business. You know? We didn't have that when we started. So yeah, we, 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 these guys are a lot luckier now. You know, sometimes some of these kids need need that rough route we had, but you know. Sure. Yeah, you know, training train is, train is uh, losing its, its, its touch in this business, too. Everybody's a trainer. That's crazy. I'm <laughs> leaving myself out. Where can people get you on social media? Uh, you can uh, find me on Twitter at, at Philly Drew Blood and uh, on Facebook. Drew Blood. But, uh, I'm very slow. I'm not slow when it comes to social media. It's just like uh, I'm not on all the time because i got to chase a three-year-old. Okay. Well, Mr. Blood, thank you so much for taking out the time. And Mr. Devin Moore, I appreciate it. No problem. Of course, you know, he likes to leave early, so. <laughs> Keep leaving, right? Leave yeah. me wanting more. <laughs> well, I'm going to make my exit. Thanks a lot, man. I appreciate it. Thanks well. for support. Hey guys, I'm standing here with Brandon Kirk, man. It's been a while. How you been? What's going on? How are you? Good, man. I mean, last time we spoke, man, you were in Synergy, and you just got fired from there, right? Um, yeah, I guess I did. I yeah. Um, you know, do you feel like you have some unfinished business there? I think so. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to be, you know, Colin, Colin West is supposed to be my friend. <laughs> and, you know, I had another opportunity and another, another promotion. And, you know, a part of it's on me where I promised him that I was going to be there. And, you know, we were actually in the car on our way there, <laughs> like at least half, halfway there before he told us that, um, you know, that we were going to be too late. So I did make an attempt. I did try my best to actually be there. I would never intentionally, you know, sure. screw over Colin like that. But I definitely, for sure, I definitely think I have some unfinished business there. Yeah, another place you have unfinished business is with Mike Seaway. He took your eye championship belt. You know, are you looking to get that back, you know, in 2019? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's not on my, my top priority list. I think that I'm, uh, I'm definitely well above that level. At this point, I, I definitely think that I should be UWA champion, but, you know, yeah, we'll so see what management thinks. We'll see if management even gives me an opportunity. Cause yeah, you know, last night was crazy. You and Shane Douglas in your yeah. first ambulance match. Yeah. Uh, you know, how was it getting in the ring with him? Like, It was, it was you know, I, I said what I said, and, you know, obviously that's just me playing character, but in, in all reality, like, Shane Douglas is a guy that I idolized from growing up, you know, ECW, like, mm-hmm. It's Shane Douglas, you know, and it was definitely an incredible experience to be able to share the ring with a guy like Shane and, yeah. you know, be under the learning tree of Shane Douglas. So Now, tonight you have a big match at H2O. Um, you know, what do you have in store for these guys? I, I, I wish I could be more positive about this, but, you know, I'm in a match with Casanova Valentine, Dan O'Hare, and Schlack. Mm-hmm. There's a good chance I'm probably going to get murdered tonight, and I've kind of accepted that. I'm going to do my best, but I don't see it working out that well for me. I hope you don't get murdered because I'd like to see you wrestle a couple more times. I would too, <laughs> but I mean, hopefully they take it easy on me. We'll yeah, see. Yeah, hopefully. And Brandon, where can people get you on social media, my friend? Social media. I am the real underscore Kirk on Twitter and the real underscore Brandon Kirk on Instagram. Thanks, man. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you. You will. Hey, guys. I'm standing here with Eddie Only. Man, how's it going? Great, dude. How are you? Yeah, man. Were you ready for tonight and the action in that ring? Uh, I think I was a little more ready than I thought I was for certain things. Yeah. And uh, by the end of it, I know. You know, I definitely wasn't, like, fully ready. Eric definitely wasn't able to get the best of me, so yeah. absolutely not. You know, now that you've been in the ring with him, you know, what other challenges are you looking to face here at H2O? Uh, I was telling somebody earlier, um, really just to keep coming here and just putting on good matches. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't care if I lose every match or if I win every match. 
I'm just like more than happy to come here and just put on a good performance every single time I come. That's I think just like more along my like best like you know like what I want to do the most here. Yeah. Just keep coming, keep on getting, putting on good matches. Sure, yeah. yeah. I think anybody can respect that. You know, one of the cool things about you, man, is that you laid it all out in the ring tonight for sure. Uh, is that like part of your like spirit inside, like that that champion fire in you? Kinda. Uh, I just started off in wrestling just like as a smaller guy, uh-huh. and uh, just always totally started off with, like bigger dudes. Like always went down south, put against like bigger guys. So I felt like my size was never like the, my strong point. So I always had a little bit, have a little bit more heart. So just kind of trying to go out there and put on my all because sometimes that can be a little bit bigger than size. Yeah, you know, um, when it comes to facing these guys here at H two O, I mean, is there a particular weapon you like to use? Uh, Nuff works. <laughs> okay. So that was, I think, was a little bit of a, I wasn't ready for it. I never used them before. Um, usually when it comes to like more like these violent matches, like death matches, mm-hmm. I feel like I'm usually a little bit better with like using glass. Sure. Um, that's really a bit more of my comfortable zone. Sure, so like not having that at all tonight was a, a bit of a different story. You know, it was de- de- definitely a whole different strategy. I just don't think I was used to it. Yeah. And I definitely let it get the best of me a handful of times. Well, it sounds like you're ready to come back and do it again and hopefully with different results. Uh, Eddie, where can people get you on social media if they want to connect? Uh, Twitter, Instagram, uh, even my Facebook, even though I'm not on that much. It's just Eddie, E-D-D-Y, only, O-N-L-Y, just with the number eight at the end of it. Awesome, man. Thanks so, for taking out the time. Yeah, dude, thank you so much. See you soon. Yeah, I'm standing here with Alex Colon, man. How's it going? It's going good, man. How are you doing? Good, man. Tough match today, right? Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, very, uh, let's just say this match is going to be innovative. Yeah. yeah, you know, the thing I like about you, man, your past matches, you know, against like Jimmy Lloyd, or, uh, you know, Rich Swan. I mean, you've been in there with some of the best in the world right now. Yeah, uh, it's been it's been a long road, and uh, I feel like finally now, at this time and period in my life, especially with wrestling, like I'm getting a lot of opportunities, and, and I'm banking on them opportunities. You yeah, know I mean? you know, you've been having great matches everywhere you go, from CCW to H2O. Um, what's been the one that really stands out to you the most? Um, probably Takeda. Uh, that I mean, him being arguably the best deathmatch wrestler in the world currently, like being able to wrestle somebody with uh, that much aura, you know what I mean, and and someone that like is viewed by the fans and even by the boys in the locker room as being the best. It's like you rarely get an opportunity like that. And for me, just you know, what I mean, uh, a small kid out of uh, New Jersey being able to get that opportunity is a big deal. Yeah, I mean, you know, you're competing against some big names and some big companies. You know, right here in H2O, what's the final goal, man? Do you want to be the H2O champion? Yeah, uh, I want to I wanna help elevate H2O. Mm-hmm. Uh, right now, obviously, it's still in the building stages. I mean, we don't all come to this locker room, sit here, and lie about where the company's at right now. We know it's still in the, the infant stages, and mm-hmm. I just want to be a part of helping the company grow and get to another plateau like your CZWs and your GCWs. Sure, man. I think you're the guy to do it. I mean, you've been having great matches, you know, with Silo, Shang, and MJF. Anywhere you go, man, it just seems like that's the place to be. And uh, Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Uh, where can people get you on social media, Alex? Um, you can follow me on Twitter at uh, AlexColon0139. Also, Facebook. Uh, you can obviously find me on there. Hopefully, I, I add your friend request because I rarely do. But <laughs> I'm on Twitter more than anything. So if someone wants to get a hold of me, it's easy to hit me up on Twitter. And more than likely, I respond fast. So. Sure, Alex. Thanks for taking that oh, out the time, man. No problem, man. Thank you. You're well. Hey, guys. I'm standing here with the legend Monster Nash himself. How's it going, man? I'm good. I'm tired, man. Yeah. It's been a long-ass weekend. You know, incredible weekend, though, right? Yeah, I'm 3-1. I can't complain. <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, you just now just got done wrestling Maria Manic. You know, she was on the list. Yeah. Um, how was that getting out there with her? Uh, it was pretty awesome. Um, I, I've known her for a long time now, uh, when she first got into the biz. She's someone that's always wanted to learn, be better. Uh, I'll hang around people like that all day, no matter how good they are. Uh, sorry if my voice sucks. It's been a long weekend, like I said. Yeah. But um, I enjoyed the energy of the crowd. I love the crowd being around the ring. It reminds me of Beyond Wrestling, of wrestling in Germany, like that style where you just feel so much more hyped. And being in there with her and crossing off a match off my list for the year 2019, extra special for me. And she brought the fight. I mean, you saw when she got me over her head for that press slam, the place went nuts. Yeah. Didn't matter what we did after that point. They saw that and they were just like, holy shit. Yeah. And that's what I wanted. And you got out there, I mean, you grabbed the microphone too. You had some choice words for her, right? I hate this area. <laughs> I hate this area. Philly, South Jersey, fuck them all. I'm a New York guy. So. <laughs> yeah, right now, right? <laughs> <laughs> but, um, you know, they don't know I, any better, right? No, no. So. but uh, I, I wanted to get make sure she was hyped up, yeah. you know what I mean? And I said some things to her so that way 
She can know where I'm at. Uh, I don't bullshit in the ring. Sure. Let's go and fight. I'd rather do that than be all entertainment and fancy. I'll take a punch in the face all day. <laughs> uh, you, you, you and Magic had a really great weekend. You know, it wasn't hard. You know, beating up Tommy the Moose, knowing that you got to team up with him the next night. <laughs> uh, it was a little weird, uh, mm-hmm. to say the least, but. It's wrestling, man. You didn't rock off too bad, right? No, no, no. I mean, you 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 expect the unexpected, and when you know what's gonna happen, you know what you got to do, and then the next day you do what you got to do. You know what I mean? So it's a bit part of being a professional. Yeah. So what's next for you, man? <laughs> Out of SWF, uh, I'm actually doing uh, Pro Wrestling Magic on in February, um, and then building up to May, the big barbed wire match with Matt Tremont for After Dark in Atlantic City. Yeah, I saw that. It's gonna be uh, brutal, man. <laughs> uh, I mean, Tremont's another one on my list. Sure. Uh, I can't wait to cross that off. Honestly, um, barbed wire match is just something that I've been looking forward to for a long time. Really? I'm not an ultra violent guy, but I definitely want to get in there with the best. If I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it with the best, and they hooked it up for me. So. That's awesome, man. So uh, Mac, like always, where can people get you on social media? Everything Steve Mac DHS, uh, Twitter, Instagram, uh, Facebook, and uh, just hit me up. If I'm in a good mood, I'll answer. <laughs> oh, and it was pretty cool, too, because Low Life Louie made the introduction, right? I yep. mean, that was awesome for you. And I'm working it so that Louie could be the referee for that barbed wire match, too. Oh, my God. That family guy. always looking out for family, bro, you know? I hear you, man. Mac, be well. And uh, How you feeling? You all right? Doing okay, man. Good, I had good. a long couple of months to this, but I'm uh, doing okay. I'm glad to see you back at shows, man. Yeah, thank you. I'm glad to be back. So, and, uh, yeah, I'm excited that uh, the future's going to bring now. So. It's gonna be. I see you got a lot of big things going, so yeah, I'm very hopefully. proud of you. Thank you. Let's just keep killing it, bro. Thank you. I will. Thank you. Right, thank you for having me, Andrew. Hey, everyone. Thanks for taking out the time to listen to me interview some of the guys of H2O. And remember, you can follow Wrestling IQ 101 on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Wrestling IQ 101. You can listen to us right here on YouTube or on the B Plus Player Network. And remember, subscribe, and we'll see you soon. Thanks.